So the first way to do leader election is via a lease mechanism. With this mechanism here, um, all service instances, they are constantly um, hoping that they will be the leader by executing code very similar to what I show here. So if we have 10 instances, well, in my example here, I have three instances at the bottom. So let's just say we have three instances of our service running. All three instances are executing this same code, and it's a, a, a loop saying, I want to be the leader, I want to be the leader, I want to be the leader, and eventually one of them will be the leader. I'm going to walk you through that code and show you exactly how it works and how the failure scenario is accounted for in this. And I'll do it by way of this example of updating some piece of information in a database. So let's say here we have a database. And there's a time when a piece of information is placed into the database. This is the time when we want something to be worked upon, right? We need some operation to occur on some other piece of data. Now, I don't show the actual data that's being stored here to be worked on because that's not what we're talking about. What I want to focus on is something shows up to be worked on. How do we select a leader to work on it? How do we handle the scenario when that leader fails and a new leader has to be elected? And how do we know when the work has run to completion, then we don't need a leader to be elected anymore, right? That's really what I'm going to walk through. So let's say that something shows up in the database on July 27th, 2017. July 27th, by the way, happens to be my birthday. Coincidence? You decide. So now the work is not done, right? So the work is not done, so I put false in here. Um, currently, no uh, service instance has a lease on this work, right? And we're using leases here for the leader election. So there's no lease currently available on this work that needs to be done, and the lease hasn't expired yet because there is no lease at all. All right, so now these three service instances, they're all executing this loop. At the top of the loop, we're going to ask the database, is the processing done? So all three instances, they go to the database and say, is it done? And all uh, three, well, so the work is not done, right? Done was false. Um, and so they're going to enter the loop, right? So all three instances enter the loop. Now they're all going to request a lease on this piece of data over here. So they all come in, request the lease. Now the database is going to grant the lease to the first request that comes in. So even though it looks like all requests come in at the exact same time, really they are going to be handled sequentially within the database engine itself. And so one of them really comes in first. In my example here, I'm saying let's say it was instance number one that came in first. So the lease is granted to service number one. And when the lease is granted, the lease is given an expiration time. I'm not putting an actual time here for conceptual reasons. I'm just saying that it's currently not expired, right? But the lease might be in the order of seconds or possibly minutes. However long you think it's going to take for an instance to process whatever this work item happens to be. So now all three instances, they get a return value from request lease. One instance, instance one, will get back a true, and that is the leader. So instance one is the leader. The other two instances will get back false, and so they know that they are not the leader. For the instance that is the leader, it will go and try to process the work item now, and it might have to renew the lease periodically as it's processing the work item so that the lease doesn't expire. But there's also the chance that it may crash. But let's, let's postpone that for a moment. Well, no, actually, let's not. Um, now that I remember what the slide does for the animations, so it may crash, and when it crashes, the lease will eventually become expired. So here you see service instance one, it crashed, I made it go away. And the next thing that happens is this lease will eventually expire. When it has expired, these other instances that were not leaders, they went over here, and they really don't do anything. Right? I, in the braces here, I just have a comment that says continually try to be the leader. So they don't actually do anything in the else. Instead, they go and execute this delay. And this is to, uh, to avoid a denial, distributed denial of the service tag against the database by having all instances constantly pounding on it saying, I want the lease, I want the lease, I want the lease, I want the lease. Right? So the delay makes it, I want the lease. Let's wait. Now I want the lease again. Right? So we're not just pounding on the thing. So these two instances, they didn't get the lease initially. 
They both delayed a little bit. The lease has now expired over here, so no instance has the lease. These two instances, they loop back around, they go back to the database and say, is this thing done? The database will say false, it's not done, and it will then go and they will request a lease, and the database will grant the lease to one of those instances. In my example here, lease, uh, service three got the lease, and the lease has not expired. Service two did not get the lease, and so it'll delay and then go back, keep trying to get the lease, because instance three may crash, right? So we still wanna have some other instances. By the way, I don't show it here, but service instance one should come back to life because the orchestrator should bring it back to life. And then it would re-enter the loop and it would also be trying to become the leader sometime in the future. All right, so now uh, service instance number three, it acquired the lease. It is now the leader. So it's now going to process this work item. Let's say that it is successful and it doesn't crash while processing this work item. So then it's going to tell the database that it is done processing and that's gonna come back over here and it's going to set this to true. So now that it is done, so now as service instance two loops back around, this will now say that the operation is done. It knows that it doesn't have to do it. And so it will just keep waiting for more work items to show up inside the database. Maybe it will be the leader for the next work item that shows up. All right, so this is um, how we have work that wants to be performed. We want it to be performed by only one instance. We're using leases as the mechanism to create a leader, do a leader election. That makes sure that one instance gets it. And if that instance crashes, we have other instances trying to become the leader and a new leader will be elected until eventually the work gets done.